Yes, I am going to trouble you again. Little bit uh, harsh interpretations about rate of certiorari. This judgment is A.R. Two Thousand Twenty Three Supreme Court Party Eleven. The fundamental rules Two Thousand Eighteen. Age of superannuation, benefit of enhancement of superannuation, age from 60 to 65 years, was granted to richest working under Ministry of Finance. Same benefit was claimed by employee appointed as researcher under Research Council. Age of superannuation is always governed by statutory rules and other service condition. Employee was appointed as research assistant and was functioning as researcher under Research Council. his service conditions and method of recruitment were uh, different as compared to ois doctor serving with ministry of ois employees not entitled to benefit of enhanced age of superannuation that is the ratio the, the, the uh, why why i want this judgment to be concentrated for the aspiring law student uh, post graduate see they, they they say what Uh, statutory interpretation of word or the persons uh, who is uh, preparing for a, a judicial examination should concentrate concentrate on this issue of uh, interpretation or is normally disjunctive and the word and is normally conjunctive disjunctive is di- full stop there not applicable conjunct means continuously applicable both of them can be read as vice versa but that interpretation is adopted only where the intention of the legislature is manifest so that area you should concentrate so um, they say uh, that is most important then they say Uh, writ of certiorari can be issued if error of law is apparent on the face of the record writ of certiorari being a high prerogative writ should not be issued on mere asking then they say finding of facts based on no evidence or purely on surmises and conjunctures or which are perverse points could be challenged by a Certiorari, as such, finding could be regarded as error of law. Then they say the the another thing is most important. Purpose of certiorari is only to confine tribunals within their jurisdiction, so as to avoid irregular exercise or non-exercise. This irregular, illegal exercise or non-exercise is. also applicable to writ of mandamus i hope you understand you go through the judgment if you are really interested to understand the law of interpretation time to time being discussed in multi number of cases which were referred here lot of cases then you can understand and to write the answers apt answers best wishes